podcast. Is it podcasting time? Mama, mama. You want them on? You got something to say? Mama, mama. Am I podcasting? Am I? Mate. Yeah. Oh, you are. Yeah. Mate. Yeah. Hello and welcome back to the best podcast ever by your host Saint Seven Swift. One. Two. Two. Favorite makeup duo are back. <laughs> Ah. happy sunday guys welcome back to my channel now i'm not gonna lie mummy's gonna keep it very real it's just gonna be good vibes in this vlog it's just gonna be good vibes ah. if you guys have listened to my latest episode of growing and glowing new episodes every monday you can listen on apple spotify and youtube you will know it was all about motherhood losing ourselves to motherhood feeling overwhelmed in motherhood becoming the best version of yourself to be the best mum you can be if you haven't listened to it i'd really recommend and if you find today's video interesting, I need to listen to that episode. The host needs to take the advice. I have been feeling really overwhelmed recently, really anxious, really in my head. Actually, it's nothing to do with motherhood. How could it be with this gorgeous boy? I actually genuinely find that motherhood is where I actually find a little bit of a release and joy. But I've been feeling all of those other emotions in lots of other things. Oh, yeah, yeah. You, want, you want to do it? Thank you, darling. You're getting so clever at helping mummy. I had a really insightful, very eye-opening therapy session this week where it was one of those therapy sessions. I don't know how many of you guys go to therapy if you'll be able to relate to what I'm about to say, but it was one of those therapy sessions where I was kind of like, I'm feeling good today. I don't really feel like I have much to offload on. And then the whole hour was like a brain dump of basically this like huge crazy to-do list I've built up in my mind of things I must do before this second baby arrives. And there is like everything. <laughs> okay, he's literally just got down for his nap. So let's scooch in a little bit closer. I've just been feeling really overwhelmed. I feel like my brain has just been on total like autopilot mode ever since I found out I was pregnant. Just like getting through the motions, being a mum already to saying, doing my videos, like living my life. And I'm like, oh yeah, you know, just growing another baby at the same time. And now it's almost like we're at the last hurdle. And I'm like, oh my God, we're literally having another baby. Don't get me wrong, as excited and as full as my heart is, I just still don't feel prepared. And I think part of it has to do with the fact that his room still looks like that aka a building site i think part of it is the fact that like my house just always feels so messy and untidy because we live here and we have a toddler the day this video is going live it's gonna be mother's day as well which i have been feeling my grief we talk about this in tomorrow's podcast episode but i've been feeling my grief rising to the surface like i can literally feel it it's like here now it's like bubbling and it's about to spill over and I've not really given myself the moment to release it and kind of have that outburst of grief. That is like weighing really heavily on my shoulders at the moment because it's just like constantly, if you have grief, you know, and it's just like kind of hanging over you. That's the phase I'm kind of in right now. And I don't know, things have just been feeling really overwhelming. And to be pretty honest with you guys, I've had enough of it. I am taking back control of my mind, of my life, as of right now. And I'm starting by giving myself today, literally just 24 hours to release that pressure, just to surrender, just to stop, and just to take it right back to happiness and the things that bring me joy in life. And I'm just literally giving myself a day to just do those things with no guilt, no fear no judgment and we are just we're just romanticizing life as of today i've literally written a list in my notes of everything i want to do today started off the morning by going for a solo dog walk listening to a podcast to me that is just bliss i've really like fallen out of my routine of going on dog walks obviously because i'm so pregnant now like i literally have to walk at a snail's pace my hips are getting ready for childbirth babe put it that way they are i can literally almost sometimes like feel my bones like yeah 
but also like Saint's not been 100% recently and he gets to a point in the dog walk where he's like okay I've had enough and then we're still like 15 minutes away from the car or whatever and so usually it's just been Connor's thing but I have always loved going for a dog walk so I just took myself off and bless them they were probably a bit like mum what the hell why are we literally walking so slow but as usual my loving Labradors were very loyal they stuck around with old mum babe and they just let me do my thing plugged in some airpods listened to a new jay shetty podcast really good would highly recommend so that felt good connecting to nature and just like being in the fresh air and just having that to myself even that i feel like has already just worked me wonders for today next on my list is getting myself presentable like loving the way i look today this point in pregnancy i have kind of hit that slump where I'm like, I don't want to go anywhere if it means I can't wear pajamas. So I'm just putting a little bit of time and effort into my makeup, my hair, choosing a nice outfit today. I actually got my hair, all, all my extensions taken out ready for the new baby. And I haven't even like styled it yet. Like it's literally just been in a messy bun ever since I came back from the hairdressers. We're gonna do a little bit of cleaning, a little bit of decluttering. I'm gonna go to a cute farm shop and get a hot bloody chalk, babe hot bloody chalk visit a bookshop because that makes me really happy and i literally never do it baking light a candle fresh pajamas board games reading meditation like you don't understand how that much this stuff sets my soul on fire and i just need it like don't get me wrong it's gray outside today it's not a very nice day it's very easy for me to just log onto instagram and be like oh these stunning girls i follow that live in australia and it's really sunny there and they live in their gorgeous like white cladded houses look at this person frolicking about in the californian sea they must be so happy they must be having such a nice time but it's like if i constantly put happiness in those objects that are just are not like they don't resonate with me right now like i'm not in australia or california in a white cladded house in my pool with a palm tree over me in the blue sky like if i constantly just give happiness to those images in my mind i'm constantly robbing myself of the happiness that is here the ability to romanticize my life as it is right now because happiness is not a destination it's a journey and there are so many beautiful moments to recognize today and today I'm choosing after many, many days of like being a victim to circumstance, victim to, oh, physically, I just feel like quite slow, quite sluggish, quite heavy today. Mentally, I'm really deep in my grief right now. Oh, today I'm feeling really overwhelmed with how much we have to get done before the baby arrives. Like we're surrendering that today. We are pressing the reset button and we are treating today. And these small things like just putting makeup on, choosing a nicer outfit than pajamas, going out for a hot chocolate, visiting a farm shop, getting some fresh air, taking my dogs for a walk. Like they are the special occasions. Being alive is the special occasion. And that's what I'm giving myself today to realize. So this is just your reminder, if you need it as much as I do, give yourself this afternoon just to stop. Give yourself today, this morning, this afternoon, even just an hour of your time just to stop. Like, what are you, what are you chasing? What are you chasing? Like, I tell myself, what am I feeling all of these anxious thoughts actually for? Like, what am I so obsessed with this future about? Like, joy, safety, love, happiness, peace. It's all in this moment. Everything's gonna get done and everything's gonna be fine. So we may as well just be happy right now with where we are and also one final thing before we actually get into today's vlog you are a mum watching this you're in my position you have a toddler running around you're like but where am i ever going to find time for myself to do these things when i'm with my toddler all the time babe me too but again happiness can be in those moments like finding the serenity and the calm in motherhood is recognizing that sometimes it's not actually always what we think that we need a release a break from our kids Sometimes it's the release, the break we need from our mentality of the fact that we just simply can't have a moment to ourselves unless our kids are physically away from us. Like, I think you're actually just setting yourself up for failure if you think like that, because what are you going to do? Just pin your happiness on the moment they finally walk out the door when they turn 18 and they don't ever want to hang out with you or like, you know, join you on a day of doing things that makes you happy because they're off with their own friends living their own life traveling the world going to university whatever like are you really just gonna wait around all that time until you feel like you can finally catch a break or are you gonna incorporate 
your loving kids that adore you into these small moments where you can still connect with yourself but also be their mum at the same time. A little pep talk for the mums out there that need it. You deserve all the dreams, all the moments of happiness. You deserve the peace, but recognise that a lot of the time it's mentality over circumstance. And that's the tea. And if you want more of that tea, go and listen to the latest Grown and Grown episode, babe, because we go in. Anyway, I'm going to keep on getting ready. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, however you're watching me today. I love you. Thank you for coming back to my channel. And let's go and have a great day together with no expectation, releasing the pressure, romanticizing life. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Let's go. Okay, outfits of the day. Saints outfit of the day. Wear your shoes. New balance. Baby bro. All done. All done. Yeah. Okay, we're actually gonna go, guys, because we're all done. Kit Kat. You think Kit Kat's here? Yeah. We have met Kit Kat here once before, haven't we, babe? Who's <laughs> that? a nice surprise. Oh, Daddy's missed you. So we have come to our local farm shop. They do so much nice food. It's such a gorgeous spot. They've got a gorgeous little shop with so much like beautiful Easter decor. Oh, a hay pesto pizza. Mm. Today's about romanticizing my life, so I'm gonna romanticize my lunch. I might get cheese and chips. New York deli sandwich for you, Con. Hot chop. Rocky Road. Dad's got a coffee. Satan's got a juice. Oh my gosh, look at this pesto pizza, guys. Wow. Saint's got a little mini pizza of his own over there. Oh, you're sharing, are you? Saint, what do you think? Is that allowed? I'm just going to drink your juice. And Con's got a steak sandwich over there that looks great. Yeah. Should we pick a flower for mummy? Oh. Uh, you need to get your equipment first, right? <laughs> Which flower should we do, Saint? This one's very nice. That is the one that caught mummy's eye as well. Mama. Mummy's not strong enough. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my gosh, all of this Easter stuff, I just literally can't. There is just something about like a country farm shop, garden centre, will always, always, always have my heart. All of this home decor, I'm so obsessed. I actually have been wanting to do a little bit of a spring fix up in my house, like a little bit of a freshen up. I haven't bought any new like home decor in literally the longest time. And I just feel like the house is looking a little bit tired inside. I might treat myself to a new chopping board. You know what I mean? Obsessed with this beautiful cushion. I just genuinely don't know where I'd put it, but it's just gorgeous. It's like a jute, that's the brand. Love it. Stunning. It makes me really excited for summer and like being outside. I've picked up my chopping board that I like. I couldn't choose between this one or like a chevron style, but I've gone for this plainer one. And it's by Nkuku, which actually I've bought a few bits from there for baby boys room. I was thrilled to see it in here. Wasn't expecting that. I thought it was just like one of those random online shops. Yeah. Yeah, that's a really nice idea. Just the kind of guy you need to marry, guys. He just asked if I want to get any flowers to take over to my mum's memorial tree for Sunday. Very lucky to have him. Auntie, which flowers should we take to Nanny? These are quite beautiful. Which one? You think some nice daffodils? Oh, <laughs> all of them! Is that what you think? Next up on my to-do list for a full day of things that just make me feel happy, bring me joy, make me feel like me, I am actually taking myself off to a bookshop, which I haven't done since I can remember, to be honest. Like, the last bookshop I think I went in was wh smith's in the middle of bath and it was like at christmas time because i was buying a christmas present in there for saint i think 
and I spent like 20 minutes in there but there is just something about a bookshop and just kind of almost getting lost in my train of thought in there and just exploring books that literally makes my soul come alive. I don't know if I am speaking to any other like reading girlies out there but I absolutely adore it and I always have done like reading when I was a child was such a passion of mine from the youngest age like literally since I could read about five years old just remember putting myself to bed reading a book whether it was like Jack and Wilson or I remember I was obsessed with these ones that were called I think it was by Enid Blyton the in the faraway tree or like the enchanted tree or something like that if you know that book let me know but i feel like that was like oh my god such such like a pinnacle point of my childhood was reading reading like that series i loved it <laughs> <laughs> me and colin drove here separately hello you can take me on a date to the bookshop <laughs> Yeah, I just think one of the easiest ways to connect to your best self is just by remembering and connecting to the passions that you had when you were a child. And my number one was reading. So saying, if you ever forget what your passions were as a child, aka Winnie the Pooh, tractors, diggers, then at least you've got all of mummy's vlogs. And sitting in the car and turning the wheel as well. Yeah, that's a lion. Sainty, say hello. Have you got any Winnie the Pooh? Wow. This is my idea of heaven. Honestly, I would just love to curl up in an armchair in the corner of a bookshop and just sit for hours. What have you found? Yeah. We can then sit down. You can sit at the table and read a book. Can Daddy sit here? Yeah. Thank you. Oh. Yeah. Got a little puppet. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> How are you that clever? What? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, is that his neck's gone a bit longer there? <laughs> You want to have a look for baby names. Okay, so we are now home. I'm literally desperate to get this makeup off, tie my hair up and get my pajamas on, which I'm gonna go and do in a sec. But we came home to a few deliveries. I thought I would share with you what has been delivered. I've been doing so much online shopping recently. Lots of stuff for baby boy, including this. Basically, H&M are currently doing other shops, oh how cute guys. Yeah, they're doing like and other stories, Arquette, loads of cute stuff. So I did a little bit of an order on H&M and it doesn't arrive with the H&M packages, it arrives with the other shops. I'm obsessed with that, that's a little one from Arquette. I'll leave it linked below. Zero to two months. I can't believe he's gonna be wearing that. Look guys, what do we think for baby brother? Oh, can't handle it. Yeah. What's in here? Oh, my new shampoo and conditioner, yay! I ordered some shampoo and conditioner from Hairburst because now I've had all my hair extensions taken out. I'm gonna be on like mum life lockdown with a newborn. Oh, I yeah. just really wanted to start my hair journey. Like my hair, like getting my hair in like peak condition, you know? What's in that? This is for baby brother's room! Oh the wow, it's here already. Oh, that is gorgeous, Khan. We have ordered some wallpaper for baby boy's room. Oh, I'm really happy with that. That's like the perfect blue. I'll open one just so I can see. We ordered this wallpaper and I chose like a different color of it, but then it kept being delayed. Like the production of that color of the wallpaper kept being delayed weeks and weeks. Apparently it's not gonna come back into stock until literally like, I genuinely think like two days before my due date, which just made me too nervous. So I ended up ordering instead the other color version that was the other one I got a sample of and I really like it, Sky blue with clouds on oh i can't wait for you guys to see it i'm so excited for his room i really am that is project next week that is project next week project next week is baby boy's room
Okay, anyway, I'm gonna go and take my makeup off, do my skincare routine, get in some pajamas, take my bra off, make up a tea and relax. I have been collecting a little bundle of new fresh pajamas ready for postpartum life and also just in general because I'm a lover of PJs. I bought a couple from the White Company ages ago that I just haven't got around to unboxing yet because I can't decide if I want to keep them to be like all nice and ready for when I've just given birth or if I just want to crack them open now. I think the day's finally come. And I've also ordered three sets of pajamas one specifically for my hospital bag. So I thought I could just do like a little bit of a pajama try on haul right now and just see what we will make of it. I'll leave the links below. I know that a couple of the H&M ones are like really, really low in stock. Yeah, let's see what we make of it all. Okay, this is that gorgeous pink pair from H&M. I am wearing a size medium and considering I am very pregnant, I would say to definitely stay true to size in these. They are so beautiful though. Let me see if I turn on the bigger light, it helps with the color a little bit. Oh, I love them though. They're cute. Maybe they're a bit too nice for postpartum. Honestly, like breast milk, okay, leaking boobs. Let me just tell you right now, it doesn't go with these nice silk pajamas. I guess you could wear obviously like a nursing bra underneath and pads and stuff, but I don't know who's got time for that. Not gonna lie. Love them. Honestly, H&M do the nicest pyjamas. I'm obsessed with these. They're like a really cute spring colour. Lovely for the time of year. Love. The next pair of H&M jammies. Love them. I saw these ones on Taylor Blue and she was the one that persuaded me to buy them. They're a really nice like beige colour. I thought the material would be like silky compared to how because that's just kind of like how it looks but actually it's not it's more linen-y fabric -y, i would say again i'm wearing a size medium considering i'm really pregnant i'd definitely say stay true to size but these are definitely like very postpartum friendly i would say whilst also looking really nice look at that bump oh my gosh okay this is the one i purposefully bought for my hospital bag for when we give birth i'm actually really loving it i had a very similar night shirt like this when I gave birth to Saint from H&M. I think I probably still have. It was like a black colour. And honestly, it is like the number one thing I wore throughout that whole hospital trip, basically. If you watch my birth vlog, you'll probably know. I had like two night shirts like this. One was a blue striped one, one was a black one. And I just wore it completely unbuttoned with just my underwear, like seamless underwear on underneath. And honestly, it was so freeing because with like the monitors that I had to have around my tummy the whole time and you know, people needing easy access, can I just say, you know, with all those checks and things night shirts were very handy and also just like not even for the hospital bag but just for like late in pregnancy these are so much nicer than having to like try and squeeze into the jar bottom so i got a size large in this one but yeah love it it's like a really nice linen beige color this is the first pair of the white company ones that i went for I got a size large and I'm definitely glad I did for the end of pregnancy because I definitely think the H&M ones fit a lot nicer but the White Company ones are like obviously nicer quality. I do love the White Company pyjamas though, they're so soft. This is like a pink stripe, really beautiful. The trousers are quite short actually. I'm like a five foot three. I don't know if it's just because of my bump, but they're by my ankles, like they're not dragging on the floor. So that's something to know if you are a taller lady. I do love them though. And actually one hack I like to use with the White Company, if you sign up to their email list every week, or maybe it's two weeks, you get emailed a discount code, which is 20% off. So anytime I do like a white company order, I always use my 20% off code and it just comes in handy so much. I've ordered so much from there for the baby. So that's just a little hack for you, but I like these white company ones. This is the final pair. Oh my gosh, the lighting is really annoying me. I'm gonna have to show you guys these when it's like normal daylight, but you know the awkward time of day where it's like, bluey grey outside and it's getting dark. I've not got like great light bulbs in my house for filming so the colour goes off a little bit but some may say these ones were built for grandma. I am gonna say I love them. I just think they're gorgeous for spring. I literally am obsessed with them. Like look at the beautiful floral print. Love. Just gorgeous. I saw them in store and I just thought oh my god they are really pretty. So yeah that's my little pyjama haul. I'm actually gonna keep these in the white company bag. Like the ones I'm gonna save for postpartum as like a treat for myself. I might wash them before they smell really nice and then just keep them in this white company bag until I've given birth and then I can be like, happy push present <laughs> to myself.
I also wanted to show you some bits that I bought for baby boy. Just little bits. I'm honestly so excited to do his room, honestly. Let's not talk about it. First of all, this maternity bag. Actually, do you know what? Let me gather some bits that I want to show you. We can do a little this and that, to be fair. It's mainly just a bag. All the rest could be cute in a nursery reveal, but I do have one outfit that I'm literally dying to show you. It's all from Zara. I literally can't cope. Oh my God, matching sweatshirt. Sorry, so obsessed. I am absolutely gonna be keeping that. It's one of those outfits that I'm probably gonna be keeping until he's literally like 25. And whenever he has babies of his own, I'm gonna be like, do you want that cute teddy bear outfit? Do you remember? Do you remember it? Do you want it? I've got it. And then also this little cute sweatshirt as well. Friends are like family. This is one to three months. But I also bought it in three to six, I think, because I'm not going to be able to cope when he grows out of that. They are doing some really, really lovely newborn bits at the moment, Zara. And then I also bought this bag for the baby's hospital bag. It's a really nice beige. I was kind of a bit like, one of those things I saw online on the Zara website, I was kind of like, oh, okay, like, that's cute. I'll give it a go. If I don't like it, I'll just return it. But it's arrived and I genuinely am actually obsessed with it. Saints hospital bag was also from Zara and I just feel like it doesn't have a patch on the functionality of this. Like now we're a mum of two, we need function. And this is great. I mean, it's mainly only got one like amazing function that Saints bag doesn't have to us, but it's still cool. So first of all, it's like magnetic buttons. On the inside, it's stars, which obviously aligns perfectly because his room is gonna be dreamland themed so i just thought that was cute this bit opens up into a wipe section so you put a little thing of wipes in under there pop them out pretty great it's really nice and big again you've got the stars print you've also got this what does that say mummy bag love it it's so small details and then also it comes with these two so this is just a little pouch which i thought could be cute for like i don't know just hospital bits really whether i put toiletries or i don't know nappies or something in there and then also a changing mat and i love any changing bag that comes with a changing mat but i just thought that was really cute a good travel bag good hospital bag zara have some fabulous bits in at the moment and actually now i've got that i think i'm gonna do a bit of a bigger baby order on there like from the home bits because they have loads of really nice like muslin-y fabric stars and moon kind of stuff which i definitely want to incorporate in his nursery so that is hospital bag of choice for the baby but of course i'll do like a really big in-depth hospital bag video but just thought i'd share that with you in case it sells out because i really like it i think it's going to be a popular one and i really like the color anyway I'm finally gonna get this makeup off. I'm gonna put this pair of pajamas in my nice postpartum push present bag to myself. What a bloody good idea. Buy things I like, put it to the side until I give them birth, put a few bars of chocolate in there. Brilliant idea, Ellie. Boing, boing. Mama. That's mama, that's Rue's mama. Right, so we've got, who's this? Poo. Poo. Why did mommy buy you this actually, Saint? Because this was a good, this was Sainsbury's, I think. Night, 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 night. They're all going to bed, are they? Yeah. This is a Winnie the Pooh, my busy books, and it has got Saint literally obsessed with Winnie the Pooh. Night, night. Night, night, rabbit. Unfortunately, his favourite is. And we left. Tigger. Night, night, Tigger. We left the donkey at Auntie's house yesterday. Night, night. Night, the ball? Night night. night night but this playroom is stressing me out you know no i really just am feeling like a whole new aesthetic in here before the baby arrives i mean i don't know why i choose to put pressure on myself i'm night no night. i'm not allowed to talk about this night am i saying night night, night, night. Yeah, no, no, I, mommy. this is one of those oh. subjects that makes me feel a little bit anxious but i do want to redo the playroom i just want a bit more of an aesthetic in here i, will. I was here Owl wow. wants to play the piano. Yeah. Oh, you found the Press arm the button. button. To select an activity. Wow. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Okay. Well done. Yeah. I always hate filming in here in the 
night time because the lighting is so bad. Saint's gone to bed. Connor's having a crisis, guys, about our baby's name. He's panicking because we haven't got a name for the baby. Even though the name Saint literally only was like truly an option for us for the last like week of our pregnancy, Connor is literally panicking because we don't have a name because we had a, a different name I for like Saint Rem through the whole pregnancy. Like I don't like Remy. Rex. No. Sage. I do like Sage, but I feel like Saint and Sage are too similar. If anybody has any name recommendations that is going to go the same, it's on the same vibe, even please even comment even below. Even. Anyway, we are chilling. We may not have done any baking today, but we went to the bakery next to the bookshop this afternoon and they literally do the most stunning, best banana bread I've ever had in my whole life. It's Heckies favourite but oh it's just gorgeous so I've just got that with a cup of tea in my new favourite mug from a cute brand called Native Homeware which I love we're gonna watch just an episode of our series which I like because the episodes are only half an hour long it's on Apple TV and it's called The Servant and we're on episode five so we're not that deep into it because there's literally four seasons it's like thriller weird storyline vibe it's good though, I'd recommend it. But yeah, me and the boys are just chilling on here and Con's been banished over to that sofa because he wants to do baby names. Connor, I'm not calling my, he said Colum. What else have you said? Yes. Spike, he said. <laughs> like. <laughs> See you in the next